party people in the place. Party people in the place. This is Mighty Flipside. This is Mighty Flipside with another MC class here for Rock to the Future. I've been going for a little bit. I'll be back again. Um, I want to just give a shout out to Rock to the Future. And I want to give a shout out to everyone out there who is uh, making sure their voices are being heard for the sake of the struggle. <clears throat> and just a, a, a real quick uh, adage on that. Um, I really do feel, honestly, right now hip-hop has a very, very strong uh, way of expressing the ideas of not just the black community, black men and women, or those who identify as black men and black women, but all those who represent that human beings need to be treated like human beings. That's the only fact there is. So I really appreciate uh, Rock to the Future uh, showing their support uh, for treating black human beings and, and uh, males and females as, as human beings because we all represent as all human beings doing hip hop. So I really appreciate that. So the topic today is how we're going to get into song topics. Now, one of the things a lot of people have issues with are uh, how to get, you know, things to talk about. Things to talk about. What do we talk about? What are we? What are we rhyming about? What are we writing songs about? And uh, right now is a very interesting topic in time because we're in a place where people have a lot of emotions. There's a lot of things happening right now. Uh, let's just say with the um, just the you know the awareness that people have about um, you know the, the plight of black people in the United States and essentially just making sure that all Americans are treated like human beings. Uh, so that's just like a concept or an idea that people are thinking about. On top of that, we are uh, dealing with corona and securities. There's a lot of people who are, there's a lot of people who are just upset about what's going on as far as education and as far as things are going on as far as, you know, administration and stuff like that so now is the time to get your voice heard now is your time to get your voice heard so what we're going to do today is talk a little bit about what are we going to talk what are we going to rhyme about I'm trying to get make sure we have some party people in a place this is mighty for some audio but neither here or there so what are we going to talk about what are we going to rhyme about so bef I, so just to be clear i'm not going to tell you what to rhyme about Please rhyme about what you want to rhyme about. Please make sure that whatever you're saying is your, I'm going to put the words in quote, truth, your truth. You can talk about actual factual things or you can make things up fantastically. You can be complete fiction. But as long as that is ringing truth to your heart. So I don't mean rap about things that are actually happening in the world. You can. You can do some fantastical things. I have a bunch of friends who rap about anime and video games. I have friends who talk about how hard it is living in a city. There's some people who I know rap about um, going on a spiritual realm. So I'm not telling you what to rhyme about. I'm going to break down how to come up with a topic and what you do when you're thinking of a topic. So. I, for example, I want to write a song about uh, bad vibes, or, or rather, I do not want people's inner bad energy to come to me. I'm trying to stay focused on keeping my energy. So what do I do? I think of a concept for that. So, and I'm going to be doing this in real time. So, like I said before, always have your trusty, your trusty notebook with you. Always have your trusty notebook, and then. You're going to take the notebook and you are going to write some things down. All right? And in that notebook, we're going to talk about our topic. So I want to talk about bad vibes or good vibes or keep your bad energy. I don't have a title yet. That's fine. You can come up with a working title. I don't want you to stress out over the title or the details yet. You just want to get 
the big overall picture. That big overall picture, right now I'm just going to call it Good and Bad Vibes. It's not the title. I think that title is kind of corny. But that is what the song is going to be essentially be about. So, how do I choose a topic? So I just thought about how I want that to be what I write about. The reason why I want to write about that is because I've noticed... And I'm going to keep it real for a second. A lot of people have a lot of opinions and ideas on social media. And I have friends who I actually love who spend a lot of time arguing online, which I think is an absolute waste of time, to be honest. I think it's an absolute waste of time. You're putting your energy out there to be in an energy. You're putting in this soup of negativity. I personally try to avoid that. I try to avoid the, the anger and arguing online with someone. Um, I like to fill my cup up or the, reflect on things that are positive, like my son, or things that make me happy, or things that's going to get me by. And I find like when I put more of that stuff in my mind, in my heart, my body, more positive things come to me. So there are people out there who just want to throw their negative energy on you and I'm not into that. So that's like the, 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 the basic of the song because I feel like that in my life right now. So, bad vibes. So what we're going to do, is there any, the first thing we want to do is we want to come up with an outline. Outlining is very important. This is not a, um, uh, a rhyme with no subject. This has a subject. Uh, we'll go into how to do a stream of consciousness, no subject song. Sometimes in the older school, they refer to that as freestyling. I don't mean that today. I'm talking about a topic that we're going to be focusing on right now. So what do we do? We create an outline. All right. Well, well the outline is, all right, are there any lines that I want to say? Um, is there any hot lines that come up when I think about that? Don't worry about making them work. Don't worry about putting them into something like that. So let's just think of a um, let's think of a line. And um, uh, just to put me on the spot, I have a line that I want to say. Um, uh, so we talk about the bad vibes or, or, or good vibes or something like uh, the good vibration. So I, I want to say the words good vibration in my song. Okay. So I want to put that down. Uh, good vibration. Um, so I just thought about um, good vib um, vibration. Ain't talking about the Beach Boys, all right? All right. Good vibration. Ain't talk about the Beach Boys. All right. I just thought of that just just off the top of my head right now and what I mean what I want to say in that particular what I want to mean that by that is I want to have good vibration but I don't want to have this old archaic uh, I mean I guess the Beach Boys are pretty cool to some people but that's not who I identify with me myself I do understand that they have like an amazing Pet Sounds album but that's not where I see myself reflected. So I would say good vibration ain't talking about the Beach Boys. Not a diss to them per se. Just that I don't. That's just not how I identify. Uh, is there another good line? Um, um, I would say something to the effect that. Um, you know. Um, I would like to say something about. Uh, watch what you say. Cause, because it'll come back to haunt you. Um, sticks like rubber, like glue. All right, so I'm gonna put that concept in there. Like rubber, like glue. And yeah, this is. I may not even use that rhyme. I'm just putting ideas right down right now. Before I actually sit down and write the bars, I'm thinking about what are some of the things that I want to go in there. Do I have a line here? Do I have a, a hot line in the back of my book that I could use? Let's see. Do we, do we write any hot lines? Not in this book. This is a newer book. But you write down good lines. 
that you've had already. We talked about extensively. Do you have good lines that you want to write? All right. So after you write down the lines of the things that you want to be in the song, let's talk about how the verses will be spaced or organized. Is this a two-bar verse song? Is it three verses? Um, a lot of times with modern um, music, a lot of the songs today are either one verse. Songs today are averaging around two minutes and thirty seconds to, in today's today's uh, young music scene. It averages two to two and a half minutes. So, do you want to have a hook? Or excuse me, I'm going to the hook in a second. Do you want to have one verse? That's 16 bars. Do you want to have two 16-bar verses? Do you want to have one 20-bar verse? And again, you may even change, but just kind of getting the ideas out right now will help you kind of figure that out. Do I want to have that killer line that I said to be the last line? You know what I'm saying? Or do I want to have a verse that is just you know, saying the same similar flow all over again, all right? So right now, what I think I want to do for a good vibe, I definitely want to have one verse singing and a second verse I want to have rhyming, rapping, all right? Second verse I want to have rapping, um, all right, and then all right, that's my structure. Do I have a hook? I don't know. Do I have a hook? Let's see. Um, let's see if I have a hook going on here. All right. Where's my beat? I have a beat set up. Uh, it's. Do I have a hook set up already? Now it's a lot easier to have a hook if you have a beat already. So, let's put a beat on. You got me. Turn it off so you can hear it. Yeah. Thinking about something like that, uh, the last uh, thing I'm going to say in this hook is uh, uh, good things come to good things will come. Good things come to those who are patient. Good things come to those who are patient. Good things come to those who are patient. Um, Alright, so that was the last part. Good things come to those who are patient. I'm going to put my, my, my vibration. My vibration. My vibration. What you face with. My vibration. Alright, let's put the beat back on. Vibration. My vision. All about meditation. Vibration, meditation, coming down to a place that's vacant, coming vacant, stop vacant, same thing for those who are patient, something like that, uh, check it out now, uh, here we go, vibration, 
Contemplation, meditation To a place where my mind is vacant To a place where my mind is vacant Okay Meditation Vibration To a place my mind is just vacant This is just a hook It's the hook My vibration Meditation to a place where my mind is vacant. No vacant, it's not a vacant. No vacant, I'm not a vacant. Okay, we we'll do. Alright, my vibration. Meditation to a place where my mind is vacant. Contemplation, I'm just waiting. First things come to go to our patient. My vibration, meditation to a place where my mind is vacant. Just waiting, just waiting. Good things come to go to our eyes. Meditation, vibration to a place where my mind is vacant. Contemplation, I'm just waiting. Good things come to go to our patient. Alright, so that'll be like the hook. So now I got like the hook. Now I got a hook and I have some things that I want to say in the rhyme. Alright. Let me find a pencil, man. Got two pencils that broke. Anyway, we can do this without a pencil, darn it. So, so what are some of the things I do? So now I got a hook. Oh, just real quick. What a hook is. What a hook is. A hook is a part of the song that is the catchy part in the middle between the verses. Uh, sometimes a hook is referred to as a chorus or a refrain. Um, the hook, the chorus, or the refrain. Those are all the same thing. You'll hear that. If when you start writing the hook the chorus or the refrain are all the same thing and that is like the the catchy part of the song um, so I remember uh, the Drake song Kiki do you love me are you writing right so that's the that's the hook part that's the part where you can uh, write the hook now so I talked about Having, choosing a topic. What are some of the lines I'm going to use? Uh, how are the verses going to be spaced out and organized? Do I have a hook? It's going to be a lot easier to have a hook if you have a beat. All right. Now, while you're writing around, here's some things that I do. You don't have to do it this way. You don't have to necessarily do it this way. These are some things that I do. All right, so this is a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. Let's just say it is me and I'm doing a song with, I don't know, Young Thug or somebody. And I'm like, in my verses, I'm like, yo, money flip side, and Young Thug is, my, you know, and just make it so obvious. I necessarily, that doesn't really bother me, but I hate when there's a song with a bunch of people. And there's a the part in the song where they just mention each other's names. It's like you guys really just didn't. I don't know, man. It's just it's just such a gimme. Just such, so easy. I would just think of a clever, clever way to mention somebody. I would say the name of their song or play with their name a little bit. I wouldn't just say Mighty Flipside in the place. Uh, and Young Thug got the bass. Uh, I mean, I just wouldn't. Ah, that's just me personally. It's a pet peeve of mine. So, um, I would try to be say something clever with their names. And not being lazy. That's, don't be lazy. There was a conversation I heard with Fat Joe. Fat Joe is a pretty big rapper from the 90s and now, I guess. He has some hits now. And one of his friends, his name was Big Pun, who's, Big Pun is known as one of the best 
rappers, one of the best rappers, uh, probably of all time, but he's definitely one of the best, better rappers in the last, I would say, 20 years, for easy, easy, or actually, he died about 20 years ago, wow, so, but yeah, he still is one of the better rappers in the last 20 or so years, so he got on Fat Joe not to be lazy, don't be lazy, don't be lazy, think about it, don't mail the last verse in. If I say something like, um, if you feel yourself getting lazy or what's going to hurry up, put something down, it, come across, it, it comes across in the song. Like, don't be lazy. Don't be lazy. Just comes across. Just don't be lazy. Try to, try to be clever. Try to use your, your creativity in a way that makes it fun for you. Also, um, be different. Be different. You know, you want to approach uh, writing a rhyme with a different voice, a different style, different uh, way that you come across, uh, and you want to be different. You want to be you want to be different. And the worst thing that you can do, the worst thing you can do as an MC, is just rap. What I mean by that is, the worst thing that you can do is just rap. Just sit up there and rap and have no substance, have nothing to say. It's not even clever. It's not even interesting. It's just nothing. It's just there. I think worse than being whack, worse than being, at least if, if you're whack, you emotionally moved me, right? If it's just there, it's just that doesn't, there's nothing. There's nothing. So the worst thing that you could do is just rap. So, so I'm gonna take a couple. I'm gonna probably write maybe four bars in our last little bit, and I want to show you how. I'm just gonna to write to this beat, and I'm gonna give you an example of what I would do. Uh, so I got the topics. I know what I want to say. I said I want to talk about the vibration, but I ain't talk about the beat boy, the beat Beach Boys, like rubber, like your glue. Basically saying whatever you say sticks to me, like the old when you say when you're a kid, I'm rubber, you're glue, you know. And come up with some concepts, and you'll you'll see that you'll hopefully when you start rhyming uh, more and more, you get more of the ideas kind of flowing, and all the ideas are in your book too, by the way. So you have all the ideas that you think of throughout the throughout the time that you're using your book. So. Let's see if we can come up with four bars about the vibration. Again, I don't know what the name of the song is. Mm. Alright. So just kind of like about how don't have people negative stuff on me. You can't harm me. You can't alarm me. I like that. Okay. You can't you can't alarm me. You can't alarm me. You can't harm me. You can't harm me. Uh, and I want to say something about dirty laundry. Oh yeah. So my mom told me this funny thing the other day. This funny saying. She's, I forget, it was something about somebody giving her opinion, trying to give, trying to make their opinion hers, and she said something like, that's funny, what you eat don't make me fat, I like that a lot, what you eat don't make me fat, I was like, ah, that's dope, so that's something I want to put in there, what you eat don't make me fat. So I'm going to put that in there. Now that's a line. I just write it down right now. What you eat don't make me fat. And maybe it's a term. I've never heard that before. I was like, that's kind of, kind of wild. All right. So, but I want to say something about dirty laundry right here. You can't harm, you can't alarm me. You can't harm me. So what, what do you put dirty laundry in a hamper? I just, uh, I don't want to put on somebody else's dirty laundry, right? 
You can't alarm me. I'm not aware of where you, uh, they can't alarm me. I refuse to wear your dirty laundry. I'm not here. Uh, I mean, uh, something like you. Uh, uh, you can't alarm me. You can't damper my hamper. That's not the, you can't hamper my. You can't alarm me. You can't harm me. You can't alarm me. I refuse to wear your dirty laundry. I won't air or wear your dirty. You can't harm me. I won't air or won't wear your dirty laundry. I won't wear or don't. I won't air or won't wear your dirty laundry. I won't air and don't wear your dirty laundry. All right. Now, I, to be honest, I think that's a little bit. It's a little cheap. But for the sake of this right now. For the sake of uh, doing a right on the spot, which is actually, to be honest, this is like kind of new to me. To write a rhyme right on the spot is, is and I like in the pressure of a video camera. This is like kind of new, but it's exciting. I like doing some new stuff. All right, so what, what do we got here? You can't harm me. You can't alarm me. So that's one bar. I would man, you wear your dirty laundry. Um, you can't wear your wear, wear dirty laundry to the fact that a hunt. Uh, Due to the fact, due to the fact that, due to the fact that my life is on track, don't. Due to the fact that my life is on track, don't. Due to the fact my life is on track, don't attack what you eat, don't make me fat, something like that, right? Um. Due to the fact my life is on track. My life is on track. Don't attack. What you eat don't make me fat. What you eat don't make me fat. <laughs> Alright, so that's four bars right there. Alright? So, I'll come up with four more bars. So, say... Yeah, I love hip hop, man. I love rhyming. So let me get this. something about the bad vibes. Check it out now. Yeah, check it out now. I just wrote this. Alright, check it out. You can't alarm me. You can't harm me. I won't air or wear your dirty laundry. Due to the fact that my life is on track, don't attack. What you eat don't make me fat. What you eat don't make me fat. Which is a good line. We can come down and talk about flow later. Which is a good line. And I set it on beat. But it's a good line so you want to be able to sell it later. So when you're solidifying or trying to get down with the rhymes a little bit later. You want to iron that out. You want to iron that out. So, so we got four bars. Let's come up with four more bars. So, again, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Beach Boys. Uh, all right. What you eat don't make me fat. Uh. What you eat don't. What 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 you eat don't make me fat. Huh. So I feel like I want to have a break right there. Fat, uh. Uh, you eat, you make me fat, uh. I want to do, um, make me fat, uh. Uh, I want to do the rubber your glue line. What you eat don't make me fat, uh. Because everything, uh, sticks to you. Um, Would you, would you say don't make me fat, uh, because it might, because um, I have a lot of things that I like about, I live my life about what you say comes back to haunt you, alright, I like that, what you say comes back, what you say comes back to haunt, what you say comes back to haunt you. What you say comes back to haunt you, right? What you say comes back to haunt you. Right, what you 
what you say goes back. Now, now I know, I know that what I was saying to Ryan before, I had a little bit of trying to remember what you say comes back to haunt you, right? What you say comes, what you say comes back to haunt you. There's a way that I could do it, right? Let me just do it to the beat. What you say comes back to haunt you. What you say comes back to haunt you. What you say comes back to haunt you. There's one way you can spit it, but I want to make the emphasis on the back. So what I did was drew a little line and a star to learn that symbol again. That symbol means that it's running right into the next line, an arrow. And that diamond means that I'm taking a rest or a pause. Well, these diamonds, these symbols, if there were no symbols there, I wouldn't know what to do for the next line. Alright? So now I know the next line, what you eat don't make you fat. What you say comes back to haunt you. It's not how I want to say it. Uh, what you say comes back. I want to have the emphasis on the back. Back to haunt you. What you say comes back to haunt you. What you say comes back to haunt you like that. What you say comes back to haunt you. Huh? What you say gon' make me fat. What you say comes back to haunt you. And it drops and haunts you. We're just like a punk. Uh, what you say comes back to haunt you. Stick to the mother. Stick to the uh, stick to the stick to haunt you. Bouncing off the bouncing off the brother like I'm a rubber and see, I was gonna say bouncing off her brother like it's rubber and it's and your glue. I think that's kind of whack. So let me come up with a killer line. Don't be lazy, right? What you say comes back to haunt you. Uh, cause cause I like the word staunchy. Staunchy kind of means like stink. We could think it comes back to haunt you, the staunchy, the staunchy, raunchy, make march the, the staunchy, raunchy, the staunchy, raunchy, the staunchy, raunchy, pont taunchy, the staunchy, raunchy, what's another word that rhymes with raunchy and staunchy or Put that down. The staunchy, raunchy, wants to harm. The staunchy raunchy was to harm the country. Haunchy, haunchy, staunchy. The staunchy raunchy was to harm. Ah, the staunchy raunchy was to harm your spiritual. There you go. The star. Would you say it comes back to haunt you? The staunchy raunchy was to harm your spiritual. Uh, want you, and I'm saying something like, uh, and it's the line where I'm gonna say something like, uh, was to harm your spiritual, but I take the evil, but I take the evil and a start to destroy good vibration. Not, uh, I take it, start your spiritual, start your aerial. Your The bad vibes from each I destroy. Good vibe, good. I thought to destroy good vibrations. Ain't talking about the Beach Boys. All right.
right, here we go. All right, so this is eight bars. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go back to the beat. Let's go back to the beginning uh, of, the, of the beat. My vibration, meditation, to the play my mind becomes patent, contemplating, I'm just waiting, good things come to those who are patient, you can't alarm me, you can't harm me, wanna weave a pair your dirty laundry, due to the fact that my life is on track, don't attack, what you eat don't make me fat, what you say comes back to haunt you, Staunchy, raunchy, wants to harm your spiritual The bad vibes that each I destroy Good vibration, they ain't talking about the beach boy Something, something, something right So what it is So what I showed you That was 8 bars So what I showed you is like Right here in front of you, right now I came up with a song topic Song Like how I outlined it I made a hook and I broke down how the verses were going to be. Now, for hip hop songwriting, that's going to be very important. Very important. Make sure you do that, okay? Uh, so, we talked about, again, that's the wrap up. How to find a topic. Please outline it. Think about your lines and how the verses will go and how they spaced out. Come up with the hook. It's important if you have the beat first already. And try to be different and speak your voice, man. All right, keep writing rhymes, especially in this time right now. Keep writing rhymes, and remember to always stay true, always stay tuned, and to always stay on the beat. Peace to rock to the future. This is the end of the uh, hip hop class. Topics: How to create a song topic. Peace.